on September 13, 2007, we traveled to the Devil's Punch Bowl outside Pear Blossom, California. I spoke to the Regional Park Superintendent, Dave Numer, about rattlesnakes and scorpions. This is that conversation. David Numer. And you work here at the uh, Devil's Punch Bowl? <laughs> And uh, you're explaining about the Mojave Green and the Timber Rattler? No, the Southern Pacific Rattler. Okay. Yes. Yeah, the Southern Pacific Rattler is found in the mountains in the coastal area. And so when they're found in the mountains, people oftentimes call them timber rattlers. But they're uh, Southern Pacific rattlesnakes, which is a uh, subspecies of the Western rattlesnake. Okay. Not to be confused with the Western Diamondback. They are not Diamondback rattlesnakes. They are uh, Western rattlesnakes. Okay. And the, the Mojave Green's got two different types of venom and... Yes. Mojave has uh, neurotoxin and hemotoxin. And the... the uh, Southern Pacific primarily hemotoxin. But that hemotoxin in the Southern Pacific is a faster acting... Well, from my experience feeding them uh, rats, uh, rats and mice uh, die from the uh, Southern Pacific bite much more rapidly than they do from the Mojave bite. Interesting. I don't know whether it has to do with... Uh, the toxins are more specific to certain things. Uh, one uh, herpetologist told me that he thought it was because Mojaves feed more on uh, lizards, so it would be more active on lizards than it would be on mammals. But I grew up in the desert here, and I know that Mojaves will eat lizards, but almost every time I've caught them feeding, it's always been on uh, kangaroo rats and uh, other uh, Lizards. Yeah, I wonder if they would really eat lizards. Is that possible? Or? Yeah, probably so, especially the smaller uh, snakes. They probably feed on lizards. Uh, most snakes do feed on lizards, but some are specific to feeding on lizards, like, uh, like uh, red racers prefer to eat lizards, and so do glossies. Glossies are a nocturnal snake, a night active snake that, that you find in the Antelope Valley here across the Mojave Desert. And they feed pretty much exclusively on lizards. So, so the rattlesnake is a. Uh, uh, is, there's other venomous snakes here in the desert besides rattlesnake, right? No. Just the rattlesnake. Yes. Okay. The only thing, uh, dangerous to us. There are some like uh, the uh, rear fang night snakes. Night snakes have a venom, but they have their fangs in the back, and they're real small snakes, so they're not a threat to us. They're, they feed on lizards, and they. Uh, they bite the lizards and venomating the lizards and, uh, and oh, okay. killing them that way while they're swallowing them. So, uh, okay. They're not dangerous. So, unless you cram your little finger down their throat <laughs> and pull forward. <laughs> uh, no, yeah. and, the, and the scorpions here in the high desert, are those, uh, those are not deadly, are they? No, we have no deadly scorpions around here. What about other? Oh, go ahead. Arizona does. It's a deadly species. So, uh, primarily in southern Arizona. Are the, small species. are the ones here black or are they clear or what are they? We have dark uh, brownish ones, uh, we have yellowish ones, we have some that are, are real pale uh, cream to clear looking. Uh, the, the giant desert is probably the, uh, the most commonly seen one uh, across uh, the Antelope Valley. And, uh, what about the Victor Valley? Yeah, desert hairy is okay. a common uh, uh, species. And it has lots of hairs on its tail and arms. Okay. And, uh, Do you have one here? Uh, I think I have a uh, specimen over here. It's a, a dead one. Oh, no, you know what? They changed it? Yeah, I think I took it out because the uh, beetles got to it. Oh, okay. And, uh, yeah. But these, these rattlesnakes here... Over here on the, on the, he's rattling right now. Yeah, this is a Mojave. A Mojave. Uh -huh. And they can be more than just green. Is right. that as green as they get? Or is no, that... they can be more yellowish green than that, and they can be more brownish than that. Okay. Uh, and the Southern Pacific in the other corner, that one can be uh, even uh, blacker than that, much darker. Uh, when they're small, oftentimes they have lighter coloration. When they're uh, large, they tend to be real black but that can uh, vary a lot from individual and from time to time with individuals. Okay. And they get a lot bigger than this, right? Yes. Oh, here's a big one over here. 
Yeah, you can see it's sizably larger. Here. How long would you say that one is? I would say probably about four and a half to five feet. Okay. So it's a quite a large rattlesnake. And they get bigger than that, you think? Or? Yeah, they can, uh -huh. especially in places like Big Tahunga Canyon or Lytle Creek, places like that, you know, in some of the canyons, lot, lots of uh, wood rats and uh, also uh, ground squirrels and rabbits. Are, are there more snakes in Southern California area than the rest of the country, would you say, like Texas or? No, probably Texas probably has not been beat. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. What about? Uh, we have lots of rattlesnakes around, but uh, I don't, you know, Texas has much more water in most of Texas, and okay. so you have a larger rodent population and so a larger snake population. Oh. This is a more arid environment, so uh, everything is is uh, regulated by water. Okay. And this this snake here is a Western this Mojave. A, yeah, this is a Southern Pacific rattler, which is the Western rattlesnake. And they're not a they're Diamondback. They're not. No. Well, they have diamond patterns on their back, but. The western diamondback is a different species than, uh, than the uh, western rattlesnake. Okay. The western diamondback and the eastern diamondback are the largest uh, North American uh, rattlesnakes. Okay. The eastern diamondback can be around nine, nine feet long. Wow. Eastern, and probably six or a little over six feet for the uh, western diamondback. But they're along the Colorado River into Arizona, New Mexico, Texas, Oklahoma, the western diamondback. Getting back to the scorpions, the ones in, that are deadly in Arizona, the southern and Mexico, north. Yes. Now, what color are those? Um, I'm not sure that they're only uh, real light yellow and clear, but they may, may vary in color. I'm not okay, concerned. but they're not black? No. Okay, and the ones here are dark, too clear, too, also clear. Right, yeah, the ones in the mountains tend to be more brownish. Uh, and the ones in the desert tend to be more yellowish and, and clear looking. Okay. How, how many different kinds of rattlesnakes are there here? Two? We, we have at this elevation and all the way to the coast, we have the uh, Southern Pacific rattler. In the Mojave Desert floor in the Antelope Valley and Apple Valley, it's Mojave rattlesnakes. As you get a little further east, there's speckled rattlers. And uh, you can go up into uh, and sidewinder rattlesnakes, find around the Mojave River. And you know, we have sand dunes. You have Are those smaller snakes. rattlesnakes, typically? Yes, or? Uh, about 31 inches or so. Is, and compared to these that can be? Yeah, they can be quite large, yes. Okay. And what about near uh, Palm Springs? When you get down to Palm Springs, you have speckled rattlers, you have side winder rattlesnakes, and also red diamond rattlesnakes, Portalis River. And uh, they're real large rattlesnakes, probably in excess of five, five and a half feet. Or wow. Real bulky snakes that tend to be a little more mellow. They're, they're frighteningly large, but uh, more mellow in disposition. What about this king? Is a California king snake? Yes, king That's snakes are constrictors. They're uh, they feed on other snakes. They feed on rodents and birds also. Uh, but but lizards, snakes, birds, mice, things yep. like that. But they love to eat rattlesnakes. Oh, they'll That's eat one them. Of their Favorite foods is rattlesnakes. Yeah. So they're our friend. Yes. And and this snake down here is a Those looks like Mojave. Mojave. Oh, there's yes. two of them. Okay. Yeah, one is uh is more brownish and the other one is more greenish. Yeah, one looks very green. This is like the door more light. Yeah, that's probably not any better. That's okay. You can see how flattened out they get. They flatten their body out when they're relaxing. Oh yeah. And then they, uh, when they're frightened, they puff up and act real large. Kind of like other animals, huh? They respond here. They don't get upset about anything in these cases. They feel real safe in here. Okay. And you feed them once a day or once a week or once a once month? Once every two weeks, uh, once a month during the wintertime. That's a baby rattler, huh? Yes, baby Southern Pacific. Now, they don't have rattles when they're that small, right? Yes, they do. They, it's a little button. He can't make much noise though until he sheds his skin a couple times and then he gets, makes him uncomfortable because they slip and slide and so they, uh, you can see it's, it's kind of hard to feel comfortable and get oh, in a case like that. Yeah, but don't, don't drop it and have it fall on the ground and have him come uh, loose. Plexiglass and stuff so it's pretty safe. Okay. But, uh, but that's 